On today's episode, we're gonna talk about a seven-year-old from Maryland sending out care packages to the elderly. We're gonna talk about a medical drone delivery company coming to the US. We're gonna talk about Virginia committing to 100% clean energy. All that and more on today's episode of The Daily Good News. Cue it. <laughs> It's your girl Jessica, aka J Hart, and I am your host of the Daily Good News. It is Monday, April 6, 2020, and the reason I know that is because I actually checked the calendar. <laughs> the days kind of seem to be blending together. So lovely, right? If you like good news, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Before we get into it, let's do a quick vibe check. Vibe check one, two, one, two. How you doing? How you feeling? Today I want to do something. Let's take a moment, follow along with me. We're going to take a deep breath in. And out. During these times, it's important to remember how blessed we are. And if you are alive and breathing, watching me through your screen, that is a blessing in itself to be able to take a deep breath in. So if you feel overwhelmed, this is one of my tricks. I love taking deep breaths. It helps ground me and remember that, you know, a lot of things are outside of my control, but what I can control is how I feel internally. Now let's get right to the good news. Virginia has become the first Southern state to commit to 100% clean energy. Let's go Virginia. Last week their General Assembly passed what they call the Virginia Clean Economy Act. The state commits to reaching 100% renewable energy by 2050. And part of this new act is a program, they're calling it the Income Payment Program. What it means is that you're basically capped at the amount of money you pay for electricity depending upon how much money you make. So if you don't make that much money but your electric bill is really exorbitant, you don't have to pay it all because you obviously wouldn't be able to afford that. And that's what this new program is all about. So shout out to Virginia for the new clean energy. Hopefully other states in the South take heed and follow along. Now we have the medical drone delivery company Zipline. I actually did an article on them a while ago. Um, it's a company that was originally launched in Rwanda. Now they're currently in both Rwanda and Ghana. What they do is they take medical supplies and deliver them to clinics that are far away from main cities and can't get medical supplies in time. The drone go heads and drops it off. Now they have planned to come to the US by the end of the year, but with everything going on, the company said, you know what, we need to get there as soon as possible because they see the need for supplies being delivered with drones. I mean, it, it follows the social distancing practices and it's definitely something that would be really beneficial. So the company is currently in talks with the government to make, make it happen a lot sooner. So hopefully they can get in soon and, and make a difference here in America. So shout out to Zipline and everybody involved in that company. Then I want to talk about a seven year old. His name is Kavanaugh Bell. He's from Gaithersburg, Maryland. He loves his grandma so much that when he realized she's a part of what they call the high risk group, he decided it was time for him to do something about it. And he wanted to help out other grandmas and other elderly just like her. So he took the $600 that he had saved up in his piggy bank and created, well, first he bought all these, all this stuff to create care packages. His care packages included toilet paper, flushable wipes, hygiene products, and hot food. Him and his mom went and delivered this, these care packages to the elderly in his neighborhood. He used up all $600. So what happened next? His community came together, not physically, but they came together to donate money towards his care packages so he can continue doing this. So shout out to not only Kavanaugh for, for doing something so kind and so beautiful and compassionate, but to his community for also stepping in and helping out to make a difference. It's absolutely beautiful. Next up, I want to talk about Under Armour. They just unveiled a new surgical mask that can produce, be produced rapidly in large quantities so that they can help meet the needs of medical workers. As you know, there's a shortage of masks right now and a lot of companies are stepping up to do something. I highlighted Bethany Frankel, her organization Be Strong has partnered with this other organization 
um, and they're getting masks from around the world and delivering it directly to hospitals. Well, Under Armour is now trying to do the same thing. They estimate that they can manufacture 100,000 masks a week. So if, if that happens and they're able to deliver it to hospitals, that would be phenomenal. Um, and then lastly, I want to talk about HBO real quick. If you're stuck at home, which we are, and you need something to watch, and maybe you've gone through all your Netflix or you don't have anything to watch, HBO is giving 500 hours of content for free. That is right, you do not need a subscription, you don't need to pay anything, the company is giving it for free to help you while you're home. <laughs> so, you, so you have something to watch. <laughs> And they have a lot of award-winning series, so make sure you go check out HBO if you don't. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's the good news for today. Today was a little, I found it a little more difficult to find good news. I had to do a lot of digging. So if you come across any good news, please go ahead and send it to me at Lovevolution. You can email me, just at lovevolution.media. You can DM me on Instagram, DM me on Twitter. Send me any good news articles that you find. Thanks for tuning in today. Go ahead and comment below one thing you are grateful for right now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, <laughs> and share it. Share it with your friends. We need more good news in the world. We need to share the positivity because there's enough negativity being spread right now. So share the love, spread the love, and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow.